Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about a very interesting problem, friend circles. First, let us try to understand the problem statement. So we are given a 2D matrix consisting of ones and zeros. A one tells us that two people are direct friends with each other. A zero tells us that two people are not friends with each other. For example, here person A is friends with himself, B and person F. So every person is friends with himself. Person B is friends with A, himself and C. Person C is friends with B and himself. Person D is friends with himself and E. Person E is friends with D and himself. Person F is friends with A and himself. Now when we represent this graphically, person A is friends with B and F. This is direct friendship. And he is indirect friends with C via B. Person B is friends with A and C, direct friendship. And he is indirectly friends with F via A. Person C is friends with B, and he is indirect friends with A and F. People D and E, so these two are friends with each other and they are different from this group. So A, B, C and F form one friend circle, D and E form another friend circle. So we have to find the total number of friend circles. So here the expected output is two. So how can we solve this problem? So we can solve this problem using a data structure called disjoint sets. This is also called union find data structure. So first let us try to understand what disjoint set data structure is and what are the operations that we can do on disjoint sets and then we will solve this problem. Okay, so what is a disjoint set? So as per the definition from Wikipedia, a disjoint set is a data structure that keeps track of set of elements that are partitioned into non-overlapping subsets. Okay. I'll make it very simple. First, let's take an example and understand these operations of a disjoint set and then this definition will be clear. So here we have three people, A, B and C. So first let's call make set operation. So what a make set operation does? So when a make set operation is called on person A, it will create a single set consisting of person A. When we call make set on B, person B, we'll get a single set consisting of person B. Similarly, make set on C creates a single set consisting of person C. So all of these three are dis distinct disjoint sets, that is non-overlapping subsets. So this is a disjoint set. So that is what this definition is. Okay, now a find operation on a particular set gives the representative of that particular set. So if we call find of A, so it will return the representative of A. So in, in this case, it should be A itself. Similarly, find of B will give the representative of B, which is B itself. And find of C will give the representative of C, which is C itself. Okay. A union of two sets will merge two sets together and the merged set will have a single representative. For example, if you take A and B here, we know that from this matrix, A and B are friends. So we can merge these two together to form a single friend circle. So for that, we can merge A and B. That is, we can, we can call this function union, union of A and B. Now these two will form a single set. So we have to elect one representative. We can make either A as the representative of this merge set, or we can make B as a representative. For now, we'll choose A as the representative. So in that case, B will be pointing to A. So B, B's representative is A and A's representative is himself. Now let's take our first example and use these operations and find the total number of friend circles. Okay, this is the same example that we saw earlier. Instead of letters, we are using numbers to denote people. Also, we are using the 1D array. The indexes in the array will denote the people and the values in the array will denote the representatives of those people. Initially, since every person is a representative of himself, we are initializing the values to be same as indexes. Also, since every person is in his own group initially, so we'll initialize the total friend circles to be equal to the number of people, which is equal to six. Now, let's see how this works. The idea here is pretty simple. So we iterate through the matrix. Whenever we encounter a one, that means that those two people are friends with each other. So we'll group them together into one friend circle and decrease this friend circle count. 
So let's see how this works now. Okay, let's start with the first element. So this is row 0 and column 0. Since row and the column index is the same, it means it is rep representing the same person. So we don't have to do any processing on this element. Similarly, all of these diagonal elements will represent a single person. So we don't have to do any processing on them. Okay, let's move to the next, uh, next element. So this value here is 1. So this is row 0 and column 1. So since, that, since the value here is equal to 1, it means person 0 and person 1 are friends with each other. So we can group them together to form a single friend circle. In order to group them together, we'll use the union function on these two people. So now this union of 0, 1. Now in order to find the union, first we'll find the representatives of 0 and 1. So to find the representative, we'll use the find function. So find of 0. Now, find of 0 here, this is equal to 0. Whenever the value in this array is same as the index, that means this value is the representative of this particular index. If this is not same, we will see, we will come to that case later. So for now, the representative of 0 is 0 itself. Now, find of 1 is equal to 1. So this value is same. Now, these two values are different. It means they are in different subsets, so we can group them together. Now we have to find a common representative. So let's make 0 as the representative of 1 also. So that means 1 will be represented by 0. So let's change the value pointed by index 1 to 0. And we will decrement this friend circle count because now they are, now person 0 and 1 are in single friend circle. So this is equal to 5. Now let's move to the next element. So this value here is 0. So I'll, I'll erase this before that. If this value is 0, it means person 0 and 2 are not friends with each other. So we don't have to do any processing. Similarly, these two values are 0, so we don't have to do any processing. Now this value is equal to 1, means person 0 and 5 are friends with each other, so we can group them together. So we'll use the union function on 0 and 5. Now, in order to union them, again we'll use the find function. So find of 0. This is equal to 0. And find of 5 is equal to 5. Now these two values are different, so we can union them. Now we'll have to find a common representative. Let's make 0 again as the representative of the combined set. So 5's representative is 0. So let's change the value pointed by index 5 in this array. To 0 and let's decrement this friend circle count again because 0 and 5 are in the same friend circle. So this is equal to 4. Now I'll erase this. Let's move to the next element. Now this value is equal to 1. So person 1 and 0 are in the same friend circle. So let's union 1 and 0. Now what is now we'll have to find the representatives. So find of 1. Now find of 1 will give us a value equal to 0. This value is not same as this index. In that case, we will have to do a recursive find again on this value. So that is find of 0 again. So this is equal to 0. So the representative 1 is 0 and the representative of 0 is 0 itself. So these two values are same. That means they are in the same subset. So so we don't have to do any further processing. So let's move to the next element. So this value is equal to 1, but then this is a diagonal element, so we don't have to do any processing. Okay, now let's move to the next element. So this value is 1. So person 1 and 2 are in the same friend circle. So let's union them. Now in order to union them, we will find the um, representatives. So find of 1. So this is 0 and the representative of 0 is 0. So this is equal to 0 and find of 2. This is equal to 2. So these two values are different so we can merge them together to form a single friend circle. So once again we'll elect the common representative. So we'll make 0 as the representative of the merged set. So 2's representative is 0. So we'll change the value pointed by index 2 to 0 and decrement this friend circle count by 1. 
since they are in the same set. Okay, now let's move to the next element. So this value here, 1 comma 3 is equal to 0, so we don't have to do any processing. 1 comma 4 is 0, no processing. Again, this value is 0, so again no processing. This is also 0. Now this value here is equal to 1. So person 2 and 1 are friends with each other, so we can group them together. So we'll call union on 2 and 1. Now in order to union them, first we'll use the find function on 2. So find of 2. So this value is 0, different from this index. So we'll, we'll find call find on 0. So this is equal to 0. And find of 1. Find of 1 is equal to 0 and find of 0 is equal to 0. Now these two values are same. That means they are already in the same subset. So we don't have to do any, any further processing. So we'll move to the next element. So I'll erase this. Now, this is a diagonal element, 2 comma 2. So it is representing person 2. So we don't have to do any processing on this. Now these three values are 0. So we'll skip. Again, these three values are also 0. We'll skip. This one is the same person, 3 comma 3, diagonal element. Again, we'll skip. Now, this is 3 comma 4. This value is equal to 1. So we'll call union on 3 comma 4. Now, in order to find the union, we'll, we'll use the find function to find the representatives. So find of 3 is equal to 3. This value is same. And find of 4 is same as index. So this is 4. Now these two values are different. It means they are in different subsets. So we can group them together. So let's select a common representative. So we'll make 3 as the representative of 4 also. So 4's representative is 3. So let's change the value pointed by 4 in this array. And reduce this friend circle count by 1. So this is equal to now let's move to the next element, 3 comma 4, now we'll be at 3 comma 5. So this value is 0, so again we don't have to do any processing. Now these three values are 0, again no processing. Now this value is 1, so we'll group 4 and 3 to form a single friend circle. So we'll union 4 comma 3. Now in order to union them, again we'll find the representatives. Find of 4. Now find of 4 is this value is equal to 3, not same as the index. So we will call find again on 3, so which is equal to 3. So this is 3 and find of this 3 is 3 itself. These two values are same, so they are already in the same subset. So we don't have to do any further processing. So we will move to the next element. So it is 4 comma 4. Now this is a diagonal element. So it is the same person, so again we don't have to do any processing. So this um, now this value is equal to 0, again no processing. This value is here is 1, so person 5 and 0 are friends with each other, so we'll group them together. Now union of 5 comma 0, so we'll find the representatives of 5 and 0. So now find of 5, this value is equal to 0, different from this index. So find of 0 is equal to 0 and find of this 0 is 0. These two values are same, so we don't have to do any further processing because they are already in the same subset. So now we'll move to the next element. So these four values are same, uh, are equal to 0, so we don't have to do any processing. This value here is equal to 1, but this is a diagonal element, so this is the same person. So we don't have any processing on this person. And now we are we have reached the end of the matrix. And the total number of friend circles are equal to 2. So this is the expected output. Now let's see how the code looks. Okay, I hope the whiteboarding helped to understand the problem. Now let's look at the code in this section. So here is a class called disjoint sets that will keep track of the people and their representatives. Uh, so for that we have um, an integer array called representatives that will keep track of uh, the people and the representatives. So the index in the in this array is the people and the values represent the representatives of those people. 
and uh, we have another private variable integer variable called friend circles so this is the total count uh, or the number of uh, friend circles or the groups that we have uh, so this is what we want to return eventually uh, now there is a constructor called disjoint sets so this will take in an argument that is the number of people uh, initially and then we will initialize this uh, 1d array the representatives array that is the values of these uh, uh, representatives initially will be equal to the index now there is a function called uh, find that is used to find the representative of a particular person um, so if the representatives of a particular person is the same as the person then we'll, we'll return that person if not then we uh, recursively so this is a recursive call so we recursively try to find the representative of that particular person and so this is a function called union um, that is used to find the union of uh, two people uh, so for that we initially like find the representative of a particular person so here we find the representative of a and representative of b and then if we check if representative of a and b if they are not same then we try to union them that is we change the representatives of uh, of we change the representative of b to uh, representative of a and uh, and in this line here uh, we are doing a path compression that is next time when we want to find the representatives of b we don't want to go through the uh, representatives list again so the representatives of b here we are changing it to representative of a and we are decrement decrementing the friend circle count and this is a uh, used to this is the function that will return the friend circles now this is uh, another class called friend circles so this is where we have our main class so first let's look at the main class here uh, um, we have a 2d matrix consisting of uh, ones and zeros so this will uh, uh, denote the uh, friendship between two people and uh, here uh, we are try trying to create an object friend circles object and uh, um, we're calling this find circle number function using this object so let's look at this function so in this function here we are initially like checking if the matrix is null um, so uh, that is we are checking the edge cases here and then we are creating a disjoint sets uh, object um, here so that is this class the object of this class here and uh, we are iterating through the matrix through every value here for every row and for every column we are checking if the value is equal to 1 and if row is not equal to column that means we are checking if uh, it is not the same person that is the uh, we are checking if it is not the same diag uh, not a diagonal element and here we are calling the union function uh, if if the value is 1 and if row and column are different that means it's two different people we want to union them so we are calling the union function here so at the end of this uh, after um, checking all of these elements here um, then we return the get uh, number of friend circle count um, so let's try to run this example here and as we saw earlier the number of friend circles here is equal to 2 okay i'll be leaving the github link to this code in the description below if you feel you learned something new in the in this video Please do hit the like button and also subscribe for more videos. Um, thank you so much.